hey thank you so much for clicking on this video if you are new here my name is charlotte and welcome lovely to see you lovely to have you if you're not new thank you for coming back let's jump straight into things so i am actually coming from the past i'm editing right now and the audio for my intro was not good all you could hear was the music that my mom was listening to downstairs and i was like not getting copyrighted today thank you very much so today's video is a cute little book shopping with me i popped to an independent bookshop i went to the works i went to sainsbury's and i also went into the library the reason for the parouse today was i wanted to one have a look at this little independent bookshop that i've had about for a while but i hadn't gotten the chance to go to and oh my god it was so cute if you were local to me check this place out and then i also wanted to head to the library see what books they had because i got my library card this week and when i got it i didn't have a chance to look and i know that i probably am mainly going to use my library card for audiobooks but i wanted to see what they had so i thought you could come along with me we could do a little book browsing together spoiler alert I didn't set out with the intention of buying anything, but I did buy some books. So yeah, but let's just jump straight in to the book browsing and then the haul that accidentally comes at the end. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so I just got back from my little book shopping expedition. It was successful, but also unsuccessful because I am not meant to be buying books at the moment. And I brought books, I didn't get any library books. So I, as a little rundown of the library, that was kind of the main reason why I wanted to go out. I wanted to see what books the library had. And I was a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting a lot more variety i was expecting like newer books and i was honestly just really disappointed like they didn't really have new books in there there were no books the newest book that i saw in there was ghosts by dolly alderton and it was still the hardback and that's like an older book now it was a bit disappointing even like the sci-fi and fantasy because like lord of the rings is one of the book series that i want to read this year and i was like oh i'll check it out see if they have it they didn't have that and like I feel like for a sci-fi and fantasy section like that's the one series that it kind of needs <laughs> but yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little look on the app I'm gonna get it all set up have a look at what kind of audiobooks and ebooks they have to see if there's anything that's good on there because one of the main reasons why I did want to get a library card was for like the Libby app and more for like the audiobook side of things because even with ghosts I did nearly end up taking it out but I had the quick realisation that like I know that Ghost is a book that I'm going to want to annotate. So I was like there's 
there's no point like there was some there was that there was a few kind of more like lit fic books but again for me that's a genre that when i'm reading i do want to annotate it and obviously like you can't annotate a library book so i'm gonna see as i said like get my library card set up see what other the books are like maybe available to me okay so i am all signed in that was actually way easier than what i thought it was gonna be but it says you can look at ebooks so overdrive and libby i have the libby app so let's see if i can get into that as well thing so you still have like the parameters of like the app like the book might be on like the libby app but if it's not in like your library so my library counts as like my county's library like all of the libraries in the county i can go from but if it's not like actually in those libraries if your library doesn't have it you can't get it which is a little bit frustrating but obviously like i guess it's just kind of part of it well that's interesting and that's good to know i definitely think it'll be helpful like like i said i definitely think i'll do the second book in the good girl's guide to murder series because i think they are quite good audiobooks and i wasn't sure if i was going to carry on with that series but i can definitely see myself carrying on with it in the form of an audiobook but to just like finish up this this video let's do a little haul of what i got today and then i also have two books that i have acquired this week so we'll put those in as well okay so this is the little haul situation that we have going on which is not what it should be i should not be buying books at the moment but alas so the first thing that i got was from the independent bookshop that i went to which was fantastic i loved it it was so nice in that it wasn't the biggest it didn't have the biggest selection but the section they did have was really really good they had quite a few olivia blake books and i had to stop myself because i'm like i'm so obsessed with the atlas six at the moment i am currently reading and i am doing a reading vlog i finished the atlas six last night and i'm onto the atlas Pal paradox so that video will be coming thursday coming but yeah so really really good independent bookshop like quite small but the selection they had for the size of it was really really good a lot of kind of popular like more book talky books which was quite nice to see because sometimes they can be like harder to find like i said the olivia blakes like i've never been able to find like one for my enemy and masters of death in like a waterstone so it was great to see those but yeah i wanted to support so i got this bookmark and i have been looking for a bookmark for i'm just gonna flip my monitor around but yeah i have been looking for a bookmark for a while so they're kind of like a stack of tarot cards and on the back like it is so well detailed like even the cards as well so yeah absolutely stunning bookmark very excited to start using that because i had just been using like the things that i tab with so tab with so yeah this is going to be super super handy and then as for the books i went into the works and they had tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and i have been wanting to read this for a little while it's been a book i keep seeing and then i put it down i pick it up put it down and i was like no i'm just gonna go for it it's five pound like let's just do it because i know that this is a book that i just i need to read it now like everyone's talking about it so i picked this up then i went into sainsbury's i actually only went into sainsbury's to get a drink and then i got distracted and saw the books and i didn't buy a drink but i did buy books so i got one called the boardwalk bookshop so this is about brie mickey and ashley and they open the boardwalk bookshop in california on the coast so their business is thriving but their personal lives aren't so brie has sworn to protect her hearts at all costs until an unexpected meeting with the best-selling author changes everything mickey has moved on from her divorce and knows something must change and ashley's wedding fantasy is shattered when she discovers her boyfriend never wants to get married every friday the three friends meet on the beach in front of the bookshop to toast the sun toast the sunset here as their bond grows closer they will challenge each other to not only face their fears but fight for what they have always wanted in life and love this sounds so cute it sounds like it's just a nice book about love about female friendship and i think these kind of little romance standalones that are also like about friendship are always just fun it's not a super super long book oh there's samples of some of the other books that she has as well that's always cute oh nice there's discussion questions i always love when books have that it makes me think a lot more so i think there's like 400 pages yeah 418 pages so it's a nice length and i just like this the sound of it and it was only three pound fifty so I was like oh, I, can't, I can't not buy it the next book that i got was another one that was on sale and again in sainsbury's and this is a book that i have wanted for a really long time but i was always like oh i don't know because it is a hardback and it's only in hardback but it's dolly alderton good material and this was only six pound fifty so again i was like well i have to this is about andy going who is going through a breakup 
I listened to a lot of her, like a lot of podcasts that Dolly did around the marketing of this book and I always thought it sounded really interesting. So it is written from the male perspective about a breakup and kind of the experience that he goes through. So Andy loves Jen, Jen loved Andy and he can't work out why she stopped. Now he is without a home, waiting for his stand-up career to take off, wondering why everyone else around him seems to have grown up while he wasn't looking. So adrift on the sea of heartbreak at a time when everything he thought he knew about women and flat sharing in his friendships has transformed beyond recognition, Andy clings to the idea of solving the, solving the puzzle of their broken relationship. Because if he can find the answers to that, then maybe Jen can find her way back to him. Andy still has a lot to learn, not least his ex-girlfriend side of the story and i've seen clips of them talking about this on like shameless book club and i'm just so excited to read it i think i'm going to do a full week of reading dolly alderton youtube video where i'm going to read this everything i know about love and also posts i think that'll be really really fun because she has quite a unique writing style and yeah i think it would just be a, a fun little week so the next books i got early on in the week and one of them this is so cute guys so i volunteer at oxfam once a week and last time i was oh well, this was back before christmas one of the ladies that got a book and she was telling me all about it we've been talking about it so when i went in this week she was like oh charlotte remind me when you when we leave to give you the book that i was telling you about because i finished it and she's like and i want you to read it now so cute so it is the stationery shop of Tehran. so this is set in 1953 in a small sta shop in a country on the brink of unrest two people meet for the fa very first time royal loves nothing nothing better than to, to while away the hours in the stationery shop run by mr fakari the store stocked with fountain pens shining bottles all of that stuff also carries translations of literature from all around the world ba man with his burning passions for justice it's like no one else she has ever met but all around them as their relationship blossoms life in tehran is changing suddenly shockingly right violence erupts a coup d'etat that forever changes their country's future as well as their own really excited to read this it's it just sounds really interesting and i just think it's so cute that um the lady for, that i volunteer with gave it to me like I love older people so much but yeah very excited for that and the final book that I have in my possession because I have also ordered two from Vinted guys it's been a bad week in terms of my book buying we're gonna I'm on a ban now is the Atlas Complex this isn't out yet <laughs> which is why I got it although the independent bookshop that I went into today also had it so I am now thinking that and I also have comments on the videos of me buying this from a, a few other people saying that they were also able to get it so i am thinking maybe it's something with independent like book sellers that have been able to like put it on the shelves early or something i don't really know because i've like on amazon on waterstones it still says the ninth so i'm not really sure i know there was like issues with ruthless vows being sent out a lot earlier as well but i put that down to christmas but i don't know if maybe there's been some like a bit of a mess up in the publishing industry at the moment i don't really know I just know I have the Atlas Complex and I am excited. So yeah, I picked this up from my local bookshop and it is also a signed edition, which is just beautiful, just beautiful. So yeah, super, super excited for this. I think I said earlier, I'm reading the, oh, I've just got onto the Atlas Paradox today. So super excited for this. And they did actually have the paperbacks of the Atlas Paradox in Sainsbury's for £4.50. So if you are reading them or if you're wanting to get into the series, definitely check that out because that's obviously a super, super good price. But yeah, I got mine from Vinted. So I've got the hardbacks of the Atlas 6 and the Atlas Paradox coming just because I wanted the hardbacks of all of them because I, I'm honestly in love like that. I'm going to do like a really big annotation. Like I've been annotating it on my Kindle and I'm so excited to like annotate them in real life. But that rounds this video up for today. So thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, helping my book buying habits. It's been a fun one. It's been a good one. We, I, I love book shopping and yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you've read any of the books that I got today, give me a comment down below. If you have any hacks for making the most out of like libraries, Libby, all of that stuff, comment that down below as well. But I will catch you in the next one.